Hi, hey, Pisces, at the reading for the sign of Pisces. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Pisces strongly in their chart. So let's go ahead and dig right in now. This could, did I already say it? I'm not sure um, what I've already said. So it's interesting. As I get into your energy, um, everything got taken away from me at what, from what I was saying. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what's here. Let's look at your energy, Pisces. I'm not even going to continue my blurb because it, it feels like everything just got... Everything just sort of got erased from my mind, which is interesting. All right, let's look at the situation that is around you, the situation that is around you, Pisces, the situation that is around you, the environment around you, something... I, I feel, I just feel like there's a transformation here. I think this is it now. All right. All right, let's look at your energy, Pisces. I hope all of you are doing well. I know this is a very stressful time for so many of us. Um, and I, I just hope everyone is doing okay and making it through. I know this uh, situation here in the world is impacting each of us in a different way. And I don't think there's one of us that's not seeing some kind of change in our lives. So I just want to wish all of you well. Um, we do have a group of Pisces here with the Five of Cups energy, the Ace of Swords energy, and the King of Pentacles. Now, when we get into the Five of Cups, um, this is a longing energy. This is a longing um, and that's coming out, a longing for the past, a longing for a certain person, a longing for a way of life. There's an energy of a longing. Um, we do have the Ace of Swords here with the King of Pentacles. So, so I think that it could have something to do with stability. It could have something to do with your overall, of your overall picture of wealth. I mean, the fact that the King of Pentacles is coming forward in your own energy is telling me that there is some sort of focus now on um, how to bring in, how to make decisions, how to take actions that will bring in long-term stability in something, long-term financial gain, long-term um, stability. It's, it's a long-term strategy that will bring in um, financial security, financial freedom, resources that are for your own disposal, maybe a emergency fund um, that is adequate for you to, to help you feel better about emergencies that come up in your life. And there's a five of cups here now. This is an emotional energy. So, I mean, this group of Pisces, I, I don't, I mean, I've, I've been trying to read these cards um, understanding this week and understanding the weeks before that we're all going through something very different in our lives. Um, and I've been trying to read um, absorbing that and also staying independent of that at the same time. In, in this reading, though, I, I think we're talking to or we're reaching into this group of Pisces people who are going through some sort of a decision-making process about how to bring in financial stability in the long term. And I, I do feel like there's some type of emotional connection here um, with the Five of Cups, like some kind of regret, some kind of emotional frustration. But with the Ace of Swords, it does feel like there is clarity coming through to you. Maybe ideas being formed, strategies being formed, this is a lot of mind work that's going on, Pisces. So um, th this is like being in my head. <laughs> Welcome to my brain. <laughs> I mean, not saying that I am all the all the time of the Ace of Swords. I, I'm kind of a bumbling idiot, idiot most of the time. You know, I mean, just frequently, infrequently, that this happens to me every once in a while, right? <laughs> not all the time. When it happens, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is something wonderful. And, and it does, when you, when you get into the Ace of Swords energy, I mean, it does bring in a sense of epiphany. It does bring in a lot of clarity. And I think once you have this clarity, um, you can really start to see how you could make your future better, how can, you could make it more secure. So you're really taking on the energy of the King of Pentacles. This is a very grounded energy. 
I think the King of Pentacles energy is the strongest energy that I have here. And I feel like this Five of Cups energy is kind of floating away now. It's, it's kind of washing away. Uh, as you come into these realizations or forming a strategy of how you're going to move forward or coming up with this idea that you have, this epiphany that you have, um, or this, you could be a series of plans like plan A, plan B, and plan C. Um, now that you have this planning, um, this clarity of mind, this King of Pentacles can begin to work. Um, and I think this King of Pentacles energy within you, that fragment within you that can help think about, about yourself in a very practical way. I think it was this fragment of you that really helped bring this Ace of Swords forward, right? It was this King of, the King of Pentacles. Did you realize you had a King of Pentacles within you? I mean, you do. And this is a strong King of Pentacles. For this King of Pentacles fragment within you to come up with Ace of Swords, it means that something really popped off, right? Something really popped off inside of your mind that is really going to, that is really helping you feel comfortable about your future in some way, because you've really had to overcome some sort of emotional turmoil here. Um, there, there was, there is something here that you've had to let go of. And I think partly it was something that brought stability to you. It could have even been a relationship that brought stability to you or a job that brought stability to you and whatever happened, it had had an emotional toll on you, Pisces. So there is, there is a, a separate, a separate separation or a, or a letting go, a surrendering or even a healing that you're doing around whatever this emotional turmoil was. And you're, you're getting this idea now as you move into the next week or two of how you can really start to bring in long-term financial security for yourself. Um, this is a masculine energy. So you could have been going from a damaged yin energy to um, working on healing yourself and then um, finding clarity within yourself and finding answers. And now you're going to be going into a more yang energy where you're, where you're moving forward in a more masculine way to take action and make decisions that are good for you, good for you in a practical, reliable sort of way. Very practical, grounded kind of energy now. All right, let's move out into your environment around you and see what's here. Now, there's a lot of energies here, so I, I'm going to do this a little differently than I have been for the rest of the signs. Leave it to Pisces to to have something here. This is This is fun. I love those of you that have been with me for a while, Pisces, you know, I love your energy. Um, I, I have the most exciting, um, inspiring time in your energy. What's this one? Right here I am using my energy work to work with me because I can feel the energies. I can feel it with my hands, which energies are the strongest. So let me just tell you when I go, when I go over these cards with my hands, the energies that are the strongest was this card for a pinnacles. All right. So this is a new deck for me. So um, when I've used this deck, I think this is one of the few times the four of pinnacles have come out. So the, the energies that are the strongest are the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. These energies over here are the strongest. So I, I think that's that that's good to know. Um, all right, so I'm procrastinating here. Let me get into these energies. It's a little, it feels a little sloppy. And I don't know if you're feeling like uh, that the energy is a little sloppy, but it feels like a little sloppy to me, but the cards are all. So remember, I'm in your energy now, Pisces, and for some reason I can do your energy quite well. And for some reason it it's feeling sloppy. It's because there's this extra energy here. I think this energy of the Four of Swords was kind of a surprise. So it, it feels like kind of a surprise and it feels like it needs to go right here. When I use my hands, it, it feels like it goes right here. All right. So let's get into this. You, you have something going on here in your environment, in your, in the situation around you 
that um, you're currently investing in. There's something that is being invested in and you're putting energy into this. You're putting your time and your focus and your energy into this, your work into this, but you haven't quite received from it um, what what you need to or what you're intending to receive from it. So it's it's in the growing period. There's something here that's incubating. And while it's incubating, you are waiting for it. You're working on it. You're, you're training. So there, you're building up capacity now. Um, there's something here that you're really treasuring, something here that you're really holding on to. Um, I feel like it's some kind of an idea that you have, a strategy that you have. Um, you're moving forward with it. You're, you're continuing to progress with it. Whatever you're working on is bringing a, a calmer state of mind. Um, it, it's, it's something that it, I think it's, it's, you have some sort of a plan you're working on and this plan is bringing peace. It's bringing peace. Now you have the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles here. So, um, this is a middle card. And when I put the cards in this kind of a way, those of you that follow me, you know, that this middle card in the bottom row is an important energy for me. And, and that's the five of pentacles energy. So there has been some sort of loss here or a disconnection, disconnection of money, disconnection of people. Um, and, and there's a lot of fear around this. There's a lot of, and, and sometimes with the five of pentacles, it's not just a perception. It's not just a feeling. It's a fact, right? So uh, I, and that's coming out quite strongly that there is something here that you really could be working through that is significant for your own for your own well-being, something that you, you're worried about finances or you're worried about um, not being successful in something. There is some worry here, uh, but it looks like with this plan that you've, that you've come up with or with this answer or this solution that you have, um, it is something that you're quite happy about. So it's something that you're happy about. It's something that brings you relief. It brings you happiness, fulfillment, and relief here with the Four of Swords. So it looks like as you're working on this, it looks like you're going to begin to start to see signs of success. Um, you're going to start to see it grow, just like an investor who invests in 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 a, in a stock market or something. You can you can see it growing. You can you can watch it day by day, and you can see it progressing. And then for some of us here, we have a virus that comes in and. We could see all kinds of changes, right? And I, I think whether it was a virus that has changed your life or whether it was something that you're um, experiencing in a personal way, um, you now have something that you're working on in your situation, in your environment that you that's bringing you a lot of peace. It's helping you overcome this fear. Um, it's, it's, it's going to, from your perspective now, transform this situation. It's going to transform the situation for you. And I think finally you're able to, you're able to rest. You're able to relax now. You're able to come in out of the battle um, and have some, it, it, there, it could even be a quiet, it could even be a quiet period of time for you where you could have been working quite hard, hustling and solving a problem and, and moving forward and taking action and coming up with a strategy and coming up with a plan. And now it's all kind of settle, settling in and you're able to relax. You're able to enjoy your time a little bit more and work to overcome this five of pentacles. Um, I'm not seeing that the five of pentacles is totally going away. I just see that there's a strategy here that you're working on, something that you have that you're doing that's bringing um, peace of mind and um, it's, it's helping you move forward in, in, in a way, in a part of your river, in a part of your life stream that's much more smooth. It's not, doesn't have so many rapids. It doesn't have so many ups and downs and so many scary places. I don't think if you're, if you're in your river, I think you're headed to a place where you're, you're going to have, um, water that's calm and, um, it might be flowing a little bit more slowly, but it's calm and you're not going to get turned over in your boat or anything. Oh, and isn't this cool? This is exactly, I love this. Um, I love this energy of the six of swords. So she's heading out into, into more calmer waters so that she doesn't have to worry about 
um, capsizing or turning over or, or crashing into something. Um, even when you go through rapids, for those of us who have been whitewater rafting, or we've been, some of us do it for our occupation, some of us do it for fun, but other people around the world do it for a livelihood. And there are always boulders in the rapids and places where the water comes together, where you could easily turn over your, your water uh, vehicle, right? And so um, you're, this person is moving into a more calmer place of her stream and she feels much better about it. Um, as you're coming out of this situation in the next, at the end of this period of time, whether it's a week's time for you or two weeks time, um, we do see that there is some sort of a decision that you're making. Um, it's a strategy decision. Um, you've already found the idea of this. You already know where you're going. You already have the, let me say it again. You already have the strategy. You already have the idea of what you're doing, there is going to be some some kind of decision that you're making uh, about what path to take. So it feels like you might have several different ideas or you might have several different options here. And as you move forward, I think you're going to be kind of heading out more on one than the other. Um, this could, and I do feel like you could be looking at a long-term future here. You could be in the beginning process of this, but knowing that the decisions that you make now are going to head you in one direction or another. And you know that as you head in one direction or another, there will be other situations that crop up, other long-term decisions that you're making. And what, depending on the, on the decision that you make about um, how you're going to do this, what exactly you're going to do, you understand it could impact your enjoyment of life. It in, could, could impact your revenue. It could impact your family. It could impact a, a future love affair. It could, it could be so many things that you're looking at. And I think you're looking at, as you move into the future, this decision you make with the two of wands, um, what, what would you like your life to be like as you move forward? What kind of experiences are, are you looking for? Because the wands energy is all about action and passion, enjoyment of life, um, stepping into adventure. And, and it's, it's about the excitement. It's about the energy of life. And so whatever decision that you're making here, there is some consideration now about how you would like this long-term experience to be. It's not all about money for you. I think, the, the guts of it, the, the base of it is about security and is about how you're going to live in a comfortable way in your life and in, in, in a comfortable way, in a, in a long-term way. But when you, when you start thinking about it, it's not just all about that. It's about how you're going to explore the world around you. How are you going to live out to your fullest potential? And there's a lot of things here that you're, that you're, um, thinking about. So I think as you find more peace and as you're, and as you're able to really quiet the mind, then you can engage the heart center and the passion center again and, and start making some decisions that um, are, are going to um, help you um, start this new beginning in the right way, in the best way for you. So you're going through, so you, you've gone through, you it feels like you're coming up out of some kind of harsher situation, um, finding your peace as you move forward, um, resting now and, and settling into this. And at the end of this time period, you will have some sort of a, a long-term life path kind of, that's the kind of energy I feel with this two of wands. It is part of this, of this major transfer transformation. This group of you is going through a transformation. So it is part of this transformation. All right, let's dig deeper into some of these energies. Um, there's a lot here, so I'm not going to be able to dig deeper into all of them. Um, I kind of want to know this Five of Pentacles. I, I kind of want to go out a little bit further into the Five of Pentacles just to just to see what that energy is going to bring. So digging deeper into the Five of Pentacles. Tell us more about the Five of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles flipped over, so that's good news. Um, Seven of Wands. There's something here with the Five of Pentacles. You're going into... Uh, a kind of a protective offensive game. Um, so you understanding now what you need to do to protect yourself, um, what you need to say to advocate for yourself. Sometimes I feel like the seven of wands is marketing, right? Being able to advocate, being able to represent ourselves, represent our work, um, hold our own in our market, right? hold our own with the people around us and the companies around us so that we're strong and we have confidence and we know why we're doing something. We know who we are and we are able to express that to other people. Um, so it's, it's kind of a marketing energy that I feel with the seven of wands and the five of pentacles. 
King of Wands. Yeah, it's 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 all about um, the passion in you, the dedication in you, the fire in you, the lion in you. It is about invention, creation, exploration, um, making more of what you have, and and overcoming fear to step into something new and create in that space. Right. It's not just stepping into it, but it's the work you do when you're in that new space. And the King of Wands is able to do that quite well. So you have a lot of masculine energy as you're moving in Pisces. It doesn't matter if you're a male or a female. You're moving into a very active part of, of your life where you're going to be taking action in your environment, um, creating, um, implementing. Uh, what do I mean by creating? You're, you're going into a situation that is not built out. It, it's not already there for you in, in one way or another. You're going to, um, in, in, in some capacity, be building something, making something, thinking of something. The King of Wands is a very creative energy. It's an invention energy. It's a performance energy. It's a present, presenting energy. It is um, not being scared to have people see you, not being, well, you can be scared, but you overcome that. You step into it, right? You can have stage fright. Performers have stage fright. I even sometimes have, I, have, I call it, for me, performance anxiety. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. That's what I call it sometimes. You can have performance anxiety with the King of Wands. It just means that you're going to step through it. It just means you know that you have the capacity to do what you need to do. And you step through it and you create. And you do it when people can see you, right? That's one of the things that the King of Wands can do. He's not scared to have people see what he does. In fact, part of the um, experience for the King of Wands is to be working in a, in a way that helps lead others and inspire others and encourage others. He's a brilliant leader, the King of Wands is. So there could be some leadership capacity for you here as well with the King of Wands. But the King of Wands is most empowered when he knows who he is, right? He knows who he is here. He knows what his core is. And he's really willing to advocate and to represent and to and to be on the offense. And, and he, he, he is just able to overcome any insecurity when he is in action. Now, later in the middle of the night or early in the morning, the King of Wands might feel entirely different about himself. But when he's at, in action and when he's at work and when he engages his heart and his passion center into this work, he's able to overcome so much. He, he's just an inspiring, passionate, talented force of energy. Um, and so that's, it, it seems like what, what you're really, um, using the energy within you that you're using to overcome this five of pentacles that we see here. Now there could be a king of wands, um, around you definitely could be a king of wands around you. Uh, this feels more in this reading Pisces. It feels more of your story. Um, you could have a Leo Aries Sag around you, but it feels it kind of feels more like your story in this reading. It feels like, like you're in some kind of a, even if you're in a relationship with someone, you're in this, this is so, it feels like this is something you're having to work out for some reason. Might not apply to everyone, but it really does feel like that. Let's go into this 10 of cups. Let's go into this 10 of cups energy. Is this a beautiful, I love this card. It's kind of frustrating when I do this. I always kind of regret sometimes holding the cards up to the camera. But I know if the camera works well, it's kind of fun for people to see these cards up close sometimes. I can't do it with everything because it really stops the flow, of, the flow of the words when I do that. Let's look at the Ten of Cups and see what's here with the Ten of Cups. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups. Nine of Wands. Knight of Wands, there's that Wands energy. See all this Wands energy here? You have a lot of Wands energy, and you did have the King of Wands as well. Eight of Wands energy. Oh, that's a lot. The Emperor. We're just going to take the Emperor. I think those two cards flew in with him. Hmm. Nope, I can't do it. They fell down, and I've learned that I can't do it. They fell down. Um, Nine of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles are here, too. So I went to put them back, and I clearly felt, no, they don't go back. They go on the table like they, they were meant to go on the table. So 
Um, we, we have, I went into the 10 of cups. Now this is a big energy. This is a big energy. And let me just read it out how I'm seeing it. I'll put the cards just on top of each other here. So I feel like there is some real joy here and happiness and relief. I feel like you've stopped whatever, whatever was happening to you. You stopped it. You halted it. Um, you have not run away from it. You stood and you fought the good fight with the nine of wands, right? This nine of wands energy. You fought the good fight here with the nine of wands. You didn't back away. You were offensive, right? You were offensive and you were defensive at the same time. You protected what needed to be protected and you stood and you didn't let go of what was yours, of what you were meant to experience. Um, you might be wounded. You might be bumped and bruised. You might have be a little bit black and blue, um, but you're still there. You're still strong and you're still moving forward in your journey with the Nine of Wands. And, and it's kind of in a way, um, I, I just feel like giving you a high five or or giving you a, a, a pat on the back and saying, way to go, way to go, good job. Um, there's some sort of a victory here with this Nine of Wands energy. Whatever your, whatever this Ten of Cups, there's a piece of you. Now this Ten of Cups is like a piece of you, right? It's, it's connected in, it's connected in with the Four of Swords in some way. It is a piece of you here. It's a fragment within you that's super excited and happy at this period of time. Something from deep within your heart is very happy about what's going on. You might be worried in another part of you. I mean, your brain, your brain might be worried. The practical sense of you might be worried, but there's something within your heart that's just super happy. And I think it's really hard to explain. Um, I felt it earlier with one of the other readings I did with the hanged man. And usually the hanged man is such a kind of an uncomfortable energy. But in that hanged man, it felt like there was some sort of weird pleasure in it. And I feel like this too. I mean, you're coming out of a difficult situation. And I think that you've been really challenged financially, challenged some way with the five of pentacles. But something is happening here that you're secretly, like your heart is happy about it. You're happy about it. You're relieved about it. And so we're going into that fragment of you. That's what we're going into here. We have the Knight of Wands. So there's a lot of passion in this. There's a lot of enjoyment. There's a lot of excitement and enthusiasm. I think this is a part of yourself that's coming out in all authenticity. Like the real truth of you is coming out in this energy. It's like you can't really contain it. And it's like... um it's like sometimes, and I felt this recently for me too, like something so beautiful happened. And the only thing I could do in bed was just roll around in bed. And I, I think I was acting like a six-year-old in bed. Like um, my ankles were moving and my feet were moving and I was, my fingers were grasping each other. And it was just a, a feeling of bliss. And I think that that's the kind of energy that I feel here. It's just this an excitement optimistic energy um, here with the Knight of Wands. Now, it, this could feel like an energy that's quite powerful and quite strong. So there could be a part of you that's kind of getting sucked into something. You could be getting sucked into maybe um, a, a, a dream that you have, or maybe something is happening that's connecting in with an old goal or an old dream you've had for a long time. Um, and there you could have like the your intuition be like ping, 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 almost like a submarine ping I'm, he I'm hearing, like a ping you would hear from a submarine. Somehow that's coming in. And it's like, it's hitting this old button. It's hitting this old dream, this old desire that you've had. Somehow it's waking that up. It's like knocking on the door. And it's just, it. it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a it's like an activation of an old goal or an old dream or something within you that brings so much bliss um, out with the Knight of Wands. So it's something that's quite powerful within you. Now, you could have someone around you because you do have the emperor here. Hello, emperor. So you could have someone um, uh, that's a part of this with you that's just really... Um, it, there's a ping. I just keep hearing the ping. You guys are being pinged with something either with a new relationship or um, a really exciting opportunity that you've connected in with, or um, maybe you're just going into a place where you can rest and relax. And maybe this new experience has more of that for you that you have been asking for. But this is something that is 
very exciting. It, it helps you get up and go. It helps you get into action. And here you are with this eight of wands. So you could be in um, a real communication, like active communication, excitement, um, back and forth kind of energy. I know not a whole lot of us are traveling these days. Normally, this would be a traveling energy. You could be traveling back and forth. Um, right now, it's probably not a traveling energy, but it's definitely going back and forth. Action, right? Whatever is happening, this is exploding in action. Doesn't that seem like it's exploding? Like there's some sort of explosion around this. It's almost like all the electrical circuits are all the right colors. And I don't, I'm just seeing that these could be wires instead of wands. These could all be wires. Oh, that's just a crazy image. Oh my goodness. Um, all of these could be wires and they could be, be coming together in such an electrifying way that there's some sort of like an explosion, like a fireworks explosion here. So it's very energized. It's very passionate. It's very exciting. Um, with this Ten of Wands, now Ten of Cups. Now remember, we're just going into this fra fragment. So even though this story here is very exciting and very passionate, um, there's other fragments of you saying, wait a second. Like, we need to be logical about this. We need to make some long-term decisions, you know. So like this Two of Wands is, is definitely a different energy, right? It's definitely a different energy, right? So we're just going into this fragment. And I don't want to make it seem like this fragment is the whole story because it's certainly not the whole story. It is a piece of the story for you. And that's how transformations are. And that's how life is. It's not just one emotion. It's lots of different emotions kicking off at the same time. Maybe from day to day, they're different. Now, we do have an emperor here. So there could be somebody here who is really your cup of tea, right? Nine of cups. There could be someone here that's helping connect to this. Here's this dream. That I, here's this dream I'm talking about with the nine of cups. Here's this dream. So you could have something happening. Maybe you've met a new person, right? Maybe you have a coworker that's just fascinating to you. Uh, maybe, maybe you have a neighbor that you've gotten to know since you've been stuck at home. Maybe you've gotten to know a neighbor, you know, that, that all of a sudden, um, it, it's something that brings excitement in. It's, it's just a little piece of life, but it's quite exciting. Um, nine of cups here is like a wish come true, enjoyment of life, um, spending time doing things that you really enjoy. And you, you do have a lot of emotion. The heart center is open, right? The heart center is open and it's shining bright. So you're being vulnerable. Um, you're loving, you're not scared of doing it in this time. You're really in your full emotional state right now. Now realize this is the nine of cups and here we have the 10 of cups. So um, I, I feel like there's some sort of inkling now that you could be connecting in with something that you've dreamed of for a long time. Uh, it might not be at that point yet, but it's something that you've been dreaming of. It's something that you've been working towards. Um, and then we have the Knight of Pentacles here. I think there's a lot of promise here. There, there's a lot of st stability with, with this, with this happiness, um, with the Knight of Pentacles. So, um, whatever is going on here, it, it seems to be not so much a pipe dream, but it could be working itself into your own reality. It could be. It could be working in its way into your reality here. Um, let's go, let's go a few, a few cards deeper into this emperor. Let's go. I can, I have to go into the emperor. Now on the extended reading, we will spend some more time in this energy. I think this is a really fun energy to be in. And I, and I think we're going to spend some more time in the two of wands as well. Um, so we're going to spend more time in the 10 of cups. We're going to spend more time with this energy and also in the decision that you're making coming up. Um, and I'll make some more determinations too. But, but right now, let's get into this emperor. Just a couple energies. Just a couple energies for this emperor before we go. King of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Masculine energy. Knight of Swords. Damn. I mean, how much more clear can it be? You could be receiving some communication here from a Aqu um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, King of Swords. Doesn't have to be one of those signs, but does take on the characteristics of the air sign, which is about communication, um, intellectual pursuits, making decisions, um, creating strategy, could be a work partner, um, could be somebody that is helping you make a decision, but it does look like there's some communication coming in and it could be coming in quite strongly. 
um, could be very direct kind of communication. That is kind of how the emperor is. He is very, fairly direct in how he communicates. Um, so there could be someone here with this sense of, of energy um, around you, Pisces. Uh, and, and this could be quite interesting for you because you like the Knight of Swords energy. You like communication. You like expression, right? You like the words and, 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 and being able to transfer thought from one person to another. And you enjoy how that thought form changes and the poetry of it and the creation energy of it, right? So there's something about this Knight of Swords that's quite attractive here. This King of Swords with the Knight of Swords, I mean, this is the same energy. So this person could be coming towards you or be communicating back and forth with you about something. And whatever it's communicating about, it's, it's something that just knocks your socks off here. And it's something that has a lot of potential here with the, with the Knight of Pentacles. It might be slow going. Um, there might be a lot of going back and forth. And it might have happened quite quickly with the Knight of Wands. Might have happened quite quickly and, and very passionately here. So very interesting. All right, Pisces, I am going to move to the extended now. In the extended reading, I am going to, I'm, I'm going to look deeper at this King of Swords and at this um, Emperor energy. Um, I am going to look deeper at this Two of Wands. We're going to look at some scenarios here that might help you. Um, and then I'll probably take this out into the future just a little bit farther and, and see wh where this really takes you as you go through May and June. I'll probably pull a few cards for May and a few cards for June and see what the energies look like. So that's the strategy for the extended. My friends, thank you very much for being here. It's always a joy to get into the Pisces energy. I wish you all well. I wish you happiness, prosperity, stability in your lives. And I'll see you back out um, on YouTube again in another week or so. Um, with another update for Pisces. Thank you all very much.